What is up girls and boys? I hope you're all having a wonderful and fantastic day. It's me, Bianca, and for today, I will be sharing to you guys the animal guide that I've compiled for Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town for the Nintendo Switch. So, what can you expect in today's video? Well, for starters, a complete guide on how to obtain the photos for all the wild animals in the game, including the requirements to spawn them, as well as how to unlock all the livestock, pets, and mounts. Now, are you guys ready? Then let's roll the intro! Alright, first things first, let's touch up on the wild animals that you can encounter in Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. There are in total 21 wild animals you can encounter in Olive Town scattered throughout the seasons and the farm areas you start off with and those you eventually unlock, plus a couple in the outskirts of town. You can't really befriend them like the other Story of Season titles. What you can do, however, is look at them from afar and snap photos of them for the museum. Some of these you will easily encounter, while others have a very specific requirement for them to spawn. And again, as a disclaimer, what I am about to share is based from my own personal save file and my own playthrough. So, let's start with the most common and easily encountered ones the moment you are allowed to take control of your character. The sparrow, the squirrel, and the fox. The sparrow is an easy one to encounter and find as it spawns in a flock close to your house at all seasons and weathers except for when there is a strong typhoon or a blizzard. Just take a photo of one of them and you're good to go. The squirrel is another easy one to find, so long as you still have some trees in the first area of your farm. They're pretty easily startled though, so it's best to go in with your camera already up as you try to find one in your farm. It spawns on all seasons except winter and extreme weather conditions. The fox is one of the two wild animals that can only be found outside of your farm. It spawns randomly in the shrine area found to the north of Olive Town during spring, summer, and autumn. Next up, the white butterfly. It spawns in all areas of the farm with the condition that it's sunny and that there are flowers present. It doesn't matter if it's a flower you've planted or one that is growing in the wild, not counting the yellow, red, and blue flowers. They don't spawn during winter though. The eagle is the second bird you will find in the game and it spawns in the beach of your farm's second area. Be careful when getting near to this one as it can fly away if you run too close to it. It spawns even in rainy weather and all throughout the year except during thunderstorms and blizzards. The owl is another bird you can find in the second area, although they also spawn in the third area of the farm, but there are conditions. First, it must be nighttime, and second, they only appear in the forested areas of your farm. They don't appear during typhoons and blizzards though, and they are easily startled as well. The bluebird can be a tricky one to spawn and take a photo of. This so-called rare bird only spawns in the area by the dilapidated structure that is the hydrophonics. 
I was able to spawn it by having lots of trees on the ramp leading up to the third area, close to the hydroponics. It spawns all throughout the year as well, but never during a bad weather. The falcon is the fourth bird in the game that you can take a photo of. They appear on the third farm area's beach on all seasons and weather conditions except extreme ones. Like the eagle, it can be easily startled, so try to be careful when getting close to it to take a photo. The brown ermine is the second wild animal you may encounter on the third area of the farm during spring, summer, and autumn. It likes to appear near dense wooded areas on all weather conditions except for when there is a typhoon or a blizzard. During sunny days in Area 3, when you've planted enough flowers, you may encounter two other butterflies. The swallowtail butterfly and the morpho butterfly. There is another condition for the morpho butterfly, however, and that it only appears in flowery areas near the hydroponics. The giant millipede is one of the bugs you may have already seen in Area 3 when you came across the entrance to the third mine. You may not have been able to take a photo of it as soon as you can because of the broken bridge that prevents you from getting close enough to take that coveted photo, but it will keep appearing there so long as there are rocks in the area and it will appear throughout the year except during blizzards. Be careful when trying to get close to it as it is quick to run away. The bear is another wild animal with very specific requirements. You need to have already unlocked the beehive, which is one of the facilities that can be fixed. Once you have one or a couple placed, it will spawn regularly. The bear does hibernate during winter and extreme weather conditions, so be sure to snap a photo of it before then. The monkey, like the bear, only also appears when there is something very specific in your farm. For the monkey, you need to have stumps in the third area of the farm in order for it to spawn during a sunny day. It spawns in a group as well once you've met the requirements. Now, let's go ahead to the wild animals that appear only during specific seasons. For summer, you can take a snapshot of the Hercules beetle during nighttime when they are hanging on the trees close to the hydroponics and the rhino and giant stag beetles during the day on trees around the second and third areas of the farm. Like all the others, they don't appear on bad weather as well. For winter, we've got the white fox that takes over the orange one's location by the shrine, the crab that spawns near the eagle and moves around there, sometimes getting close to the water and the rocks near it, the white ermine that spawns with the exact same conditions as its brown counterpart, and the ptarmigan that spawns only if there are fields of flowers blossoming in the third area of your farm. And that's it for the wild animals that you can find in Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, and how to spawn them. Now, you can go and donate the photos you've taken to the museum once you've snapped them and have fun decorating their placements there. Just remember that you can't change where you've told Gloria to put, you know, your donations once it is already placed. Now, let's talk about the other animals you can encounter in Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. The livestock, the mounts, and the pets. Now, you can tame the livestock that appears in your farm, like the chickens, the cows, the llamas, the sheep, the rabbits, you know, and their variations. However, for the variations of these animals, um, you need to have a higher animal care level uh, in order to be able to tame them. 
Some of the variations for the livestock only appear on certain seasons as well. Here is a table of how, when, and where you can encounter the various livestock and Story of Seasons pioneers of Olive Town. As for pets and mounts, you can unlock more by using the sprite points in the shrine, you know, and asking for them. These include the stallion, the unicorn, the wolf, and the mini wolf. And that about does it for today's video. I hope that this video ends up being useful to you guys. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, you guys know the drill. Dream on, fly on. Bye bye now everybody. Keep safe, stay at home.